My name is Colin Sutherland Wilson. My traditional name is Hokki'i, which means one more. I come from the house of Zibasa from the village of Anspaya. Well, there is a proposed pipeline on the Salmon River Road, which is the Prince Rupert gas transmission pipeline. It's a pipeline that we all thought was dead years ago. Originally, they wanted to build it to Lilo Island but it got canned around 2017. We didn't hear any word about any further progression. But then all of a sudden, within the last few months, uh, only a few months before it expired, all the certificates, the environmental assessment certificates, we got word that this Houston-based company out of the States, Western LNG, that they teamed up with Nisra and the Sims to not only buy the project that was just about to expire, but also to reroute it to Pierce Island uh, instead of Lalo Island. Well, I think the main issue to begin with is no one knew what the hell was going on. There wasn't community meetings about this. There wasn't consultation at the, the community level. You just had a handful of people negotiating with the proponents behind closed doors. And even the fruits of those agreements we don't even have access to because of NDAs. So at this point, I, I can confidently say every room I've been into, every meeting, that I've been to. 99% of all the GIGSAT people either have no idea what's going on or just vehemently oppose this project to begin with. And so now we need to reconcile that with these agreements that were made over 10 years ago. Positive message comes from the youth. The past month, I've seen countless young people step up organize meetings, put their hearts out there and to say that we want to protect this land, that this land has value far more than money, far more than you know the jobs that these industries can offer, and that it'll only appreciate in time. You know, water, priceless, clean air, priceless, animals, the hunting, the trapping, the lifestyle, the livelihood, all absolutely priceless and it's not worth destroying for short-term gain. And so these young people, they're organizing, they're getting together, and I think they're gonna make the message loud and clear, you know, to all the generations that, you know, we're gonna be the ones who are gonna to have to live with this, and we don't want it. Now there's a lot happening. There's fights happening in the courts. There's fights happening on the land, whether that's the Gitnya or even Nisqa folks who, you know, they have their tribal land protectors right now. They've had blockades out in their territory that haven't received much publicity. And they're also organizing for injunctions against their own government. You know, so you have parties from all the different nations across the board, across the entirety of this right away, who, you know, the unanimous message is clear that you can't rush this process. You can't force this pipeline through and there's gonna be a fight. So that message needs to be made clear now more than ever. Like if you oppose this project, put it out there. And the more uncertainty there is, the more food for thought that is for Western LNG, for Nisqalisims, that maybe we shouldn't be dumping our money into an endless pit in a pipeline that's not gonna be built, that's gonna turn into a years long battle. It's not worth it. You know, if they wanna do a pipeline, make it from scratch, consult the right people, do the job right, you know, with the new, better regulations. I'm not for sale.